Oh, these carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's magic. TGIF. Just like that. Damn, my shit looking a little blurry. Good morning, though. People. Instagrammers. Hip hoppers. Participants of this dynamic culture of ours. What's going on, pimp? Y'all uh, hit the like button as y'all come in, please. Got a very, very, it's a lot of shit going on on my IG page. A lot of shit going on on my IG page. Um, let me see what we got. Welcome to the live chat. I hope I ain't do not cussing yet. I want to get it started. And what up? Good morning. Got some surprises going on here at Government TV this weekend. It's still about this at all times. I'm getting these mass produced. People have been asking me about these. They've been asking me about these, too. The knitted shysty. He says, stop glorifying rats. Who the Haitian Jack tell on? I feel sorry for some of y'all, man. Some of y'all are very, very envious towards people who have established any type of notoriety on um, social media. It's a big thing to y'all. Y'all will almost hurt people, man. I've been the target of some very, very malicious energy. Boom, 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 boom. What up, what up, what up? He said, your Haitian Jake, Jack film. I took it off uh, Amazon Prime. I'm, re I'm redoing it. You're going to see. Y'all going to get a Tell Jack and them. Niggas to grip up. Them, that was a long time ago. Did y'all see the picture? The song Against All Odds has been proven to be false uh, in regards to some a lot of the shit that he said on there. Great song, though. Thank you. Thank you. It's on my website, www.therealdribble.com. Wayne Berry, what up? Did y'all see the picture? Let me talk about the picture, man. Did y'all follow me on Instagram? Go to Instagram. At I am Gully TV underscore, and y'all gonna see a picture. I'm gonna tell you how I came across the picture. I was watching a dynamic hour long piece. I watched it twice on um, the murder of Fat Tone. It was about Fat Tone from, um, damn, they rocked his ass to sleep. They rocked his ass to sleep for old new. Um, I was watching a documentary piece about Fat Tone from Kansas, Kansas City. Um, for y'all who don't know, I've had a lot of those guys from Vallejo and the Bay Area and even Yuck Mouth, who was at the Mac Dre weekend. That They all been on this platform, right? And um, Young Cat from Kansas City, shout out to Cat. He's been on this platform, too. He was on the documentary as well. Learned a lot about Kansas City. Very, very good documentary. But... but um, Towards the end of the documentary, they got to talking about Jason Mathis and Mac Minister. These are the guys who was charged with Fat Tone's murder, right? Mark Curry was good. So look, right? I'm watching this documentary, and they get to talking about um, Mac Minister getting back in court. Somebody recanted their statements against him, and he was getting back in court. So it was a news telecast, I think, on Fox that was a part of this documentary, and they were showing... Mac Minister getting back in court. Right? While they showing, while they're talking about Mac Minister, they flashing old pictures of him from back in the day. And one of the pictures caught my attention. I said, oh. Thank God for technology. I grabbed my remote and I pulled it back. I said, that looked at like and when I pulled it back, it was a picture of Mac Minister, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, 
and someone who was in 50 Cent's ear, when I seen the positioning of this person, I knew exactly who it was. Uh, I know his profile. I know I, I could spot him from a thousand yards away. I've looked at him on camera and edited videos and footage of him for years and years and years and years and years. I'm an expert. I'm a Haitian Jack expert, so to speak. I seen the picture. I'm like, wow. Boom. Screenshotted it. Pulled it up close. I'm like, yep. That's him. That's him. He said, yeah, you can't see the face unless you know. I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm looking at the positioning. And I was like, this is a legendary picture right here. This is a live, this is live action. That picture was live action. That, that picture was live action. Um, they were posing for a picture, but Jack has some things that he wanted to whisper in 50 Cent's ear. Now, a lot of people talking crazy on, on the picture, the comments and everything. 50 Cent don't start, strike me as no chump, never did. He don't strike me as the type of person that anybody could just take something from or anything like that. But uh, Bangham Smurf has told stories about their encounters with Haitian Jack and different dudes like that. And I think that picture right there was definitely one of them. It looks like the, uh, the era when Snoop was, when 50 was running around doing Magic Stick and, you know, different songs and whatever song he had with 50 Cent back then. But um, I'm looking at, he said Jack was shug. I'm looking at the picture and I know what I was told. I know what he was, I know what he told me. I know what he told me. Um, he never, I asked him something about 50 Cent before and he started like mumbling. So that might have been some resistance in there. And I, I asked him about G and I asked him about 50 Cent. It, it might have been some, it was, it was some resistance in there. But, uh. That was definitely him in action. That was a picture of him in action. Seriously. Legendary picture. Ba boom, boom, boom. He said, Jack was in 50 Cent ear like Lance Steven was in Le LeBron James ear. He was too close. First off, he was too close. If y'all watching the picture... He was too close. Fam, back up, man. What you doing, man? Is you posing in the picture? Is you in the picture or like, what the fuck is you doing, man? What's up with you, man? Like, I'm especially being aware of who he is and shit. How does nigga get up on me like this, man? Where the fuck is Smurf at? <laughs> Mark Curry said Jack was strong. He's still strong. He said, I didn't know what Jack looked like until 15 years ago. If you want to see a picture of him in 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg, and Mac Minister, go look at my Instagram page, at I Am Gully TV. It's definitely him. Uh, it, it's him. I'm pretty sure this has gotten back to him. I posted a picture last night. But uh, just look at it. Just look at the picture. He said he was close, but he didn't look like he was in fifth ear, though. Why would he be so close? Why would he be so close? Don't you know that that's a part of the testing? They, they you know, testing, testing your temperature and shit. You know what I mean? I don't think that Fifty Cent with Fifty Cent had it. I was Supreme and a bunch of other niggas. I don't think he was vulnerable to it. Uh, uh, Bang and Smurf and them said that's what they was around for. They've mentioned Haitian Jack, but that picture is it. That was one of them nights. Yo, Playboy, let me holla at you. <laughs> what y'all think it was? What y'all think he said? I'll tell you something about that. Hey, Playboy, let me holla at you. I can say this because I know it to be the truth. He could have been asking 50, you want me to pop somebody? Because he do that. He was doing that. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Do you want me to clap one of these niggas? <laughs> Tell me who to clap. <laughs> Straight up. 50 Cent rapped about Haitian Jack and um, 50 Bars of Pain, I think the song was called. <laughs> hopping out the Jag that he said hopping out the Jag that's Max Haitian cat kill a nigga quick remind me of Haitian Jack 
So he in the loop. <laughs> he in the loop. <laughs> he in the loop. G, you got to go, pimp. Forever. Ain't no Mark Curry disrespect on here. That's my nigga. Straight up. He said they was by the bar. I wonder what club that was at. He said he popped somebody for Jack. Man, who in here giving me, hey, playboy, <laughs> you know I can make your problems go away. <laughs> he probably was wreck chasing. He probably was wreck chasing, yo, because 50 don't, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they had a prior conversation. Jack could have been saying, yo, them niggas over there right now. I can get him right now. <laughs> but live picture. Good morning, everybody. Subscribe to the channel, Mark Curry in the chat. I see you, Mark. Welcome back to the hip hop culture, the fold. We call it the fold. Welcome back. Um, they know that you lethal with that pen now. He said, what, uh, what happened, Gully? Probably on the West Coast in Los Angeles. Definitely a West Coast picture. Definitely a West Coast picture, in my opinion. Because Jack was in LA back then. He said, gotta move the haters up out of here. They wasting their time. They got a, um, somebody told me they got a, a new update on this um, live streaming shit where you can really go live with people on here. I ain't figured out how to do it yet, but. He told me a story one time. It's gonna be on his on his documentary if it ever come out because it was a it's a clip he showed me a clip from his thing with Benny Boom, and um, he was talking about some people that had a problem. I ain't gonna say who they was. Some people who had a problem in Atlanta, and um, it was unfolding at Magic City and shit. And he seen what was going on, and um, he pulled up on a nigga and popped him from his car. And told the nigga that had the problem, yo, you owe me one Playboy and pull. <laughs> yo, 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 straight up. I'm dead serious. It's gonna come out one day. Y'all gonna remember I told y'all this clip. And then. He replayed what happened. He replayed what happened. He said, yeah, niggas was acting funky. So I put, he said, I put two on his back. I was like, damn, I ain't lying. <laughs> I ain't lying. So, hey, subscribe to the channel. These are tales that y'all ain't heard yet. I ain't going to tell y'all no more, but I did pull out that picture. Pretty sure that picture is circulating around. Cause it's a live photo. Mm-hmm. Some people some people been in on been on the wrong end end of that uh conversation and shit. Not 50 cent a G unit though. Good morning, Ibrahim. <coughs> Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications. Appreciate y'all for coming through. I got some surprises for y'all, man. Next couple of days, man, it's going to heat up. Mark call it the full court press. We got some shit. We got some shit, I'm telling you. But that's the explanation for the picture. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, at IamGullyTV underscore. The picture comes from a documentary. I, I recommend y'all go check it out. I noticed this documentary raised some eyebrows in the Bay Area. I watched it. It was almost like an expose and shit. I'm like, damn, like it's almost if this transpired the way that these people are saying, it was messy business. It was messy business, in my opinion. A promoter probably didn't recoup and got mad in the story. But it wasn't Fat Tone. It wasn't Fat Tone. 
um, they had witnesses and people who said uh, a dude, his name was Villa, who was traveling behind um, the van that Mac Dre was in. And he said he seen a guy lean out the joint and spray the, spray the van up or whatever. Happened for 10000 It was allegedly a hit for $10,000. But go check out this documentary. It's about Fat Tone from Kansas City. It's fire. Do you still support Charleston White? Did I Have I ever supported Charleston White? I agree with some of the things he said, but I don't like follow or keep up with what he's doing. He blowing up, ain't he? Y'all support Charleston White. That's why he uh still popping. You see a man, Matt, Matt Barnes, he got a little problem with females and shit like that. Like he this is we starting to see a pattern. He said the hit on Soldier Slim was for ten thousand. Damn. Fat Tone was 24, 24 when he was killed. Yeah. Um, he did some things after the murder of Mac Dre for marketing purposes that probably cost him his life. He was doing things that probably made people feel that he possibly did it. He was like subliminal. Sub, some people felt that he was subliminally claiming the murder and shit. And that's what, that's what happened. That's what happened with him. But, uh, Mac ministering them. They rocked him to sleep. They rocked Fat Tone to sleep. Oh, my God, they rocked him to sleep. God damn. That's a cautionary tale to everybody. They rocked him to sleep. If you ever seen a person get led to their death, gee, Monelli. Oh, my God, man. They slow walked him to his, they slow walked him to his death, yo. Like, That's how you know that he didn't do it. I think I believe if he did it, if he really did it, he would have been moving a lot more cautiously and shit, but they walked his ass. Ooh, we. Boom, boom. He said slow roll like you had time to think. He didn't pick up no signs, man. He was rolling with them niggas, went to Vegas with them niggas, and got bodied out there. He said he would have never been around him. Yeah, if he did it, he wouldn't have never been around him. He said, what's the name of the duck? Just look up Fat Tone, Kansas City. Uh, it's probably going to be at the top because it's, it's trending right now and shit. But Mac Minister... Mac Minister was in the pictures with Haitian Jack and 50 Cent. And say a lot about the company you keep. He said, where can we find a doc? It's on YouTube. I watched it yesterday, two times. He said, what well, you hear, G. Monelli? This hustler used to be saying that, man. He passed away. His name was um, G-Man. Be a fan of G-Man. He had a lot of um, punchlines and shit. He was a hustler, basketball player. He was an elite. Passed away from before his time and shit. And uh, he was a slick talker. I heard he had a mean sucker punch back in the day, too. He said, was it in Vegas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, Detroit. Nah, nigga, I ain't from Detroit, nigga. I'm from Erie, east side, 17th and German, man. Y'all ain't the only niggas diddy bopping, man. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he said, okay, I'm slow. Mac is the topic. No, the, the topic is a photo that's trending on Instagram. It's making a big splash on Instagram. Go read the comments. I at I am Gully TV underscore. Follow me on Instagram. And it's a picture of Haitian Jack and 50 Cent. And um 
me being, uh, uh, me have studied Haitian Jack and in tune with the shit that he was doing and in tune with body language and shit like that. I know that that was one of his things and shit. Um, if you look at the picture, it's one of them. Yo, fam, get up, back, back up off me, fam. What's up with you? Like, it's one of them joints. He said, I saw that. Mark, what did you, what you think about it? He said, the real 50 Cent. Uh-uh. Curtis Jackson. It was when he was young, too. You could look and tell that 50 Cent was young. He looked at young and shit. It was the probably the Magic Stick era. P-I-M-P. He was around Snoop and shit. Rudy Fernandez is fire. He was on that documentary. He was so good, I had to go look him up. I think he was playing against the Dream Team or somebody. Yeah, he was playing against the Redeem Team. He was at them niggas' ass. I haven't spoken to Kwame Kilpatrick like that. He said, where's the money in 2023? Bet it on the Lakers. Bet it on the Lakers. If you got money and you're betting on the NBA playoffs, the Lakers is going to go to the Western Conference Finals. When they, uh, when them niggas, <clears throat> after that all-star break, they this is how, this is how it's going to happen. They're going to slide into the playoffs. They're going to, like, barely make it in there. Like, cruising and shit. Them niggas healthy. Them niggas gonna be big dog and niggas. He said, "Ad, Ad gonna get hurt." I knew he was gonna say that. I knew he was gonna say that. Good morning, everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Can Haitian Jack reapply and come to the USA over time? I've interviewed uh, several deportees. Uh, one being Haitian Jack, another being 6F from the murder unit. Both of them niggas been out of the country over 10 years. Um, they said that you can reapply to come back after 10 years. They done been over there over 10 years. Bang them Smurf too. You think the United States is going to let Smurf back over here? Do you think they're going to let... Uh, Haitian Jack know some powerful people too. You think they're going to let them niggas back over here? They let Sean back over here because he was a diplomat or some shit or a political figure or some shit. Like, he changed his everything. But them? Trust me, Jack trying to get over here. He trying with all of his power and, and probably has some legitimate claims. Older, ain't been in no trouble. Got some legitimate businesses in order and shit. But... He said Sean came back. He did. I don't even think Sean was gone 10 years either. He might, Yeah, Sean was gone over 10 years. He said you can get back. Hey, Mark, if you got them felonies, it's a, a, it's a specific felony statute that the penalty is deportation. I, I did the 6 half shit. They told them niggas. When you done, and they make you do your time. Ain't that a bitch? They make you do your time first. You can't just, when they, they get a hold of you, I would just say, man, y'all gonna send me back. Just send me home. No, you owe us 20 years. We need that 20 up out you. Then you can go. That's the U.S. You said, what's Bangham Smurf background? G unit, G unit, a shooter for G unit, security for G unit, router. That's what they say. I interviewed him. Nobody's ever refuted Smurf all like that. Good morning. He said he's from Trinidad. Hmm. He said they got to get paid off of you first. Yeah, why Rick Ross still going at banks? Some shit just be forever, man. Probably don't like G-Unit. <laughs> he said Jack ain't do the time for that shooting on Melrose. 
he was in jail some time. He, he was in jail some, he was in jail probably like four years before he got deported. I can't, I can't confirm that. I don't know if he did time for that shit though. I don't know. He's a different situation. You seen Gilly going ham on Rick Ross? I don't be keeping up with it, man. I try to keep it hip hop, sports, and fashion. One of the three topics, man. Keep my plate full, man. I can't keep up with what them niggas doing. Uh, speaking of hip hop, sports, and fashion, let's talk about one of the greatest videos I've ever put together. Good Life Cafe joint. That Good Life Cafe joint, that's one of the dopest videos I ever put out on Gully TV. It's booming right now, too. Make sure y'all watch that shit. It's one of the best I ever did because he named so many underground legends from California on that shit. And he spoke about the Good Life on a big, uh, on a big time East Coast platform. Them niggas don't, it's probably a lot of them niggas don't even rap anymore and shit like that. But them niggas know that that topic came up right now and that shit cooking. It's cooking. Hip hop purists, Gully TV, them dudes that they was naming, Juice. He named Juice, LA Cool, all of them dudes. Them niggas all used to be in that rap Olympics uh, back in the day. He said, Jack is an informant. If he's, if he's an informant, why couldn't he tell so he could stay in the United States? I, I still got work to do on it, um, Harlem Shakur. I support Ed Reed. If Ed Reed said it's funny style, it's funny style. That's it. Make sure y'all visit my website. It's one of my latest masterpieces. Dribble God Varsity Chanel. Got the dreadlock hoodie. This ain't gonna be putting on your pulling on your hair and shit like that. Satin joint. The setting trends and shit. www.therealdribble.com. He said, where's the paperwork? They they don't got no paperwork. It was a detective that put out a report online. It's still online to this day, tell, telling about a whole bunch of stuff about Haitian Jack. And he spoke about a robbery that happened. I'm, and a robbery that happened to a dude named TT, the Haitian Jack and Tut posted did together. It never happened. It it was a lie. Um, Dexter Isaac got on here and said they was the ones that was on TT after TT and shit. Inaccurate information, so you can't believe nothing that he said. But he the one that actually published a report that said Haitian Jack was an informant. Kevin D. Kevin B, will you ever do a documentary on the Jamaican posse? Only you can pull this off. I think it's been done pretty thoroughly before. People know about Vivian Blake and all of them dudes. Why people pressing the coaches at the HBCUs instead of people that's stealing all the money from the kids? I don't know, man. I put out a four part a four part series on Murder Unit. I even went to the island of Antigua to interview one of their more high profile members. His name is Six Sev. I think he was one of the first to have a number, used a number for a name and shit. He said Uzi Delroy. Uzi Delroy wrote a letter it's online about how he feel like he's dying slow in prison. How you feel he's living in hell. Um, he regret all of those people that he killed and all of that shit that he did. He don't want to be there. He didn't He didn't think in a million years, and he's Jamaican, he would, didn't think in a million years he'd be in another country serving out the rest of his life. It's fucked up, but kill a motherfucker, that's the penalty and shit. They're going to put you on a shelf. Go to my page on Instagram, comment under that picture. Tell me what you think. Haitian Jack and 50 Cent. Me being a, a practitioner and, and publisher of uh, Haitian Jack content, 
I could tell by body language. He was in raw form. He was shooting his pitch. He was shooting his pitch. Everybody else is taking a picture. Go look at it. Everybody else is taking a picture. He said, that's what happens. I've spoken to Grand Pooba on, on the phone several times. We've spoken. We know each other. Y'all hit him up on his IG and tell him, man, it's time to boogie. Tell him it's time to boogie at Gully TV, man. Tell him we t it's time for us to talk fast. He know me. We talked on the phone several times and shit. Pooba, what up? I interviewed the other two. To be the trifecta, I have to interview the DJ too. Rest in peace to Rashawn Salam. I didn't know Rashawn Salam killed himself. I seen that on um, Stunted Growth. That shit traumatized me seeing that shit. I'm like, damn, fam. And he's been dead for some time now and shit. He felt that he was, uh, he was a Heisman Trophy winner, and he didn't have the greatest NFL career, so... Probably felt like an underachiever, been the man all his life. Damn. He said they stealing at all them HBCUs. They be they just posted some pictures of one of the HBCUs and they got mold and shit like that in the um the dormitories. This is the problem. The historic black colleges graduate black students who go on to be whatever they become alumni niggas don't be giving back to the black schools niggas go and become big and send their kids to duke motherfuckers go to historic black kid black colleges and get married and send their kids to duke <laughs> don't kick back nothing to howard and all that shit before you know it and shit the hbcus man they struggling man He said, underfunded. The, uh, the alumni, the people, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. People like that. Um, Shannon Sharp. There's more. Dion went to Florida State. But them other guys, there's dudes that went to them schools that made it. Y'all got to kick down, man. We lost a big boy in Atlanta to cancer yesterday. Nate from Big Boys Purple Ribbon, a very valuable pet player in the city to me. Rest in peace to him. Terrell Owens, he said Mississippi Valley State. When the money do come, they take it because you're giving the donations to niggas. It's bad. It's bad. It's like the church. It's like putting money in the plate at the church. Motherfuckers like, man, back in the day, I believe people put money in the church joint. People probably still do, but back in the day, I believe people just absentmindedly put money in the fucking collection plate. I, I was raised a Muslim, but I used to go to church with my grandmother sometimes and shit, and I would see them forking over big money and shit. You know what I'm saying? I believe once you got the Bishop Whiteheads and all of these super churches and all of the wealth and all of the opulence came, I think people start saying, man, I ain't giving that nigga my money. I ain't giving that nigga my money. These niggas buying. I remember when uh, Pastors drove town cars like big Lincolns and shit or a big Buick or y'all remember when pastors drove town cars, them big diplomatic looking cars. <laughs> now oh man. These niggas going straight. He said he said caddies. Yeah, shit like that. Now might see a preacher in a Range Rover or some shit. Rolls Royce. He said, Lincoln Continental. 
They ain't on Cadillacs no more. He said, Reb got, Reb got a Rolls Royce. No more stinking Lincolns. They booked Bishop Whitehead, man. Bishop Whitehead was doing too much, man. Insurance scams and all types of shit. He on here choking broads. Bishop Whitehead. <laughs> Bishop Whitehead, man, that nigga was something else, yo. That nigga was something else. If y'all pay attention to that brief little period, <laughs> that nigga was something else, yo. This nigga choking practice, he choked choking his parishioners, st staging robberies, he staged the robbery. <laughs> This nigga calling niggas out to fights. He was trying to get fights going, celebrity boxing and shit. Fam, you a preacher. You trying to box niggas and shit. He trying to box Uncle Murder and all this. This nigga was bugging. Niggas get out of them state prisons, man, with ideas and shit. He almost pulled it off. He was pulling it off for a minute. He just like, he could have been a character on Money and Violence. Nigga could have been a character with Leon on... Money and violence. Bishop Whitehead. <laughs> Might have to revamp that joint. He said he copped a complex in Hartford, Connecticut. He's out on bail. Athletes be getting staph infections. HBCU's basketball teams could barely field enough teams for their own basketball conference tournament due to teams having failing grades. This is a few years ago. Wow. Pop a lot been dropping some heat lately. Shout out to him. He said, I bet he rap. You know Bishop Whitehead got, you know he can rap. Bishop Whitehead can rap and he probably can hoop. He got the whole New York City package. When I seen him with Rudy Lowe, I knew what it was. And I said it before I seen him with Rudy Lowe. I got on here. I said, man, that nigga probably roll. I bet I said, I gotta ask Rudy Lowe about him. Rudy heard that what I said and sent me some videos with him within like 10 minutes. No bullshit. He said Creflo got three jets out the congregation. He said he hustling. I can't even be mad at him. Bishop Whitehead for Money and Violence. Good morning, everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you go get, so you get the notifications. And go to my website, www.therealdribble.com. Go to uh my Instagram page. Check out the picture that I posted, uh, a 50 cent Haitian Jack. That Snoop Dogg in there and Mac Minister. Mac Minister is a motherfucker, yo. Woo wee. Mac Minister. Rider. Them niggas is riders. Them niggas is riders, yo. He said, what is the IG? At I am Gully TV underscore. He said he got the whole new Bishop Whitehead can hoop and rap. Bishop Whitehead can hoop and rap. He said, them athletes at White University be failing too. The whole... Them athletes, damn, comments moving fast, excuse me. He says sometimes you got to rob the plug. Tell me what y'all think about that picture. I imagine it was in the early 90s. No, that's probably after Tupac died, of course. Haitian Jack was in L.A., Cause Snoop Dogg's in the picture with Haitian Jack. I don't think he would have been in the picture with Haitian Jack. 
unless years had years had passed. That's the second picture that's surfaced of Snoop Dogg and Haitian Jack together. Second. That's the second picture of Snoop Dogg and Haitian Jack. He said, a look in 50 Cent face in that picture is hilarious. He got a wave cap on. It was young 50 Cent. He said, I don't see this picture. Instagram, I am Gully TV underscore. Did you ever ask Jack about Ricky? Of course. I've met Ricky. Talking to talk to him on the phone. Um, I went to Jamaica to meet him. The deal didn't. It didn't work out. But I was over there. He said they didn't have problems with Jack. Pac did. I'm, you know what I'm saying. He said acne was on him. It was still pu puberty. He was probably young. Walegum Salam. Good morning to you. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time in here. Go to my website. Get right. Since 1976. Bicentennial shit. The dribble. Like the video. 600 people here this morning, man. Y'all still asleep? What's the problem? Get out of here and go to the gym. Get my day started. He said, the most high don't like them preachers. Preachers have changed, man. I was watching a video with Ori Spado. He said, Haitian Jack initially, initially, Initially ma managed 50 Cent. Interesting. Isaiah 56, verse 11. King James Version. Ye, ye, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. Pick with Jack, Pac, and T. Black from BK is more epic. Anyway, I just wanted to drop that on here. This entire telecast this morning, I was waking y'all up and telling y'all to go look at that picture, share it. Probably was a lost picture and shit, but it's back. And y'all going to see it again, courtesy of the Dribble. Subscribe to the channel. Visit my website, www.therealdribble.com. This orange shit busting on here, ain't it? I'm up out of here. Peace.